Welcome back. Yeah, well, you are the host of the new series, Kimchi Chronicles. Marja yes. von Grieten, please welcome. Oh, thank so you. So happy to have you here. Thank yes. you. So happy to be here. <laughs> and you're going to be cooking up some great things for us today, but first we have to talk about your illustrious career. Yes. Illustrious. And, and your series, <laughs> Kimchi Chronicles. Tell us more about the show. Thank you. Um, so the show is based around kind of like my, my life story. I was adopted at three years old from Korea, born to an unwed 19-year-old Korean mother. My father was African-American in the Army, war baby story. Oh. Um, so I was adopted and raised in Northern Virginia, right out of sight, out, that's outside of D.C. You're kidding. I'm from... Wow. No, from well, where? Fairfax County. <laughs> Me too. What? what? McLean. I knew I liked you. Right. Yeah. Our neighbors are getting to know it. I know. I love oh that. God, I love Small it. Small world. Small mm. world indeed. Yeah, so I grew up uh, with African American family, typical mm -hmm. middle class uh, upbringing. And then I found my birth mother at 19. Mm. So I learned Ooh. Korean culture again and the language through the food, which really? is what my mother taught me when we first met. So she fed me all my favorite foods that I ate as a baby, and all this flood of memories came back. So fast forward about 18 years, mm -hmm. I meet two producers. Um, and they had done Mario Batali uh, oh, yes. and Gwyneth Paltrow, Spain oh, on the Road Again. Right. And they were looking to do a show on Korean culture and food. And we just happened to meet and told them my story. And they were like, you're hosting. And I now said, you're sure. here. <laughs> now I'm here. Wow. Well, it's not just about the food on the show. It's all a lot about the culture you bring totally. into the show. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide that was important to educate people and teach them about the culture? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that uh, food and culture go hand in hand. It wasn't all me, of course. We had um, mm -hmm. a team of great producers. Mm -hmm. uh, my director, Charlie Pinsky, really had foresight into what's, what is a story. Um, so, you know, we wanted to keep it really authentic and really traditional. Uh, Korean food and culture, mm. and when you keep things traditional, then you delve into the culture just by being there. Mm. That's true. Very good point. Yeah. Well, what about Korean food in particular do you want viewers to learn when they watch your show? Well, um, A, that it's very healthy, lots of health properties. Mm -hmm. um, I liken it to, um, it's the soul food of Asia for me. Really? I grew up on American soul food. Um, it's very similar in that, uh, you know, a lot of the cuisine is centered around cheaper cuts of meat, things you have to cook down a long time, mm -hmm. root vegetables. And, you know, just like African-American soul food, it became nourishment and medicine, mm -hmm. medicinal for us in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. uh, as is Korean food. Nice. So, so from so cornbread to kimchi. <laughs> I know, that's a good show. Right? <laughs> well, but exactly. let's talk about um, just this idea of, because you easily could have just delivered a soul food show. Mm -hmm. Why was it important for you to create a show based on Korean cuisine? Um, because I'm still learning every day. Mm. Um, you know, for instance, I went to Korea. I have been many years since I've met my, my biological family. And, you know, a lot of things were lost in translation. Um, you know, a lot of things were lost in translation due to language barrier. Um, so things like going with my family to a temple to pray, I, I mm. didn't really necessarily understand oh. the formality of it all, the reason for it, you know, all those things. So when I went on this show, I, we had a team of experts that explained everything from A to Z. Mm. And I went through years of feeling kind of like I didn't really belong in Korean society. Yeah. I, nobody viewed me as Korean. And I'd go and speak Korean in restaurants, and they didn't answer me in English. And I just felt kind of invisible. But mm -hmm. I realized going to Korea and gaining all that knowledge and information, it was really just me not knowing myself, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was a way for you to reconnect with your roots. Totally, oh, gotcha. totally, totally. Well, talking all this food is making me hungry. <laughs> and this is sitting here. So we'll keep asking you questions while we're cooking. Yes. But let's get started. Well, let me talk about this particular recipe. So I started a Korean fast food concept. It's mm -hmm. called Kimchi Goddess. Mm -hmm. I'm working. I partnered up with Aramark. Mm -hmm. And um, they're in charge of about over 30 universities on the Northeast. Okay. So they're trying to drive a more healthy, um, you know, cafeteria options for okay. their students I love it. Mm -hmm. in their food courts. So Kim this is. Kimchi goddess. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing on the name. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to take this. I've chopped up everything. It's super simple. Okay, okay. so this I is my soy garlic, garlic chicken. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So we've got garlic, onions, and is that ginger? Yep, we've okay. got garlic, Ooh. onions. Ginger, a half an anjou pear, mm. and you just pour sweet. it in here. Okay. Yeah. You can use any kind of pear. Okay. And I've I've actually run into situations where I didn't have any pears, but 
I threw some raspberry. Anything with acidity. Sweet. You oh, can do anything acidity. with acidity. That's the okay. main point. All right. Now, when you chop this up, what's the key to chopping? How finely should we be chopping these little Well, pieces? you can, you want to make a puree out of it. Oh, so you can either, okay. you can even use a blender. I just use this okay. food processor because okay. it just gets to, gets to the point really quickly. Okay. Oh, I need to add a little bit of water just to get this going. Yeah. Uh, so tiny bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this will go for just a second. Okay, and it's going to be pureed yeah, into yeah. this. Thing. Now tell exactly. us, Hugh Jackman and Heather Graham are also featured on the show. How are yes. they involved? Well, Hugh Jackman is, um, I'll pulse this in a minute. Yeah, that um, delicious. <laughs> Hugh Jackman and his wife, Deborah Lee, um, actually happen to be neighbors of ours. Okay. They adopted two children, mm. and uh, their son Oscar is half African American, half uh, Caucasian. Mm -hmm. Daughter's half Mexican, half Caucasian. Right. So we really bonded over that, mm. and. Um, you know, when I, I was so excited when I got the call that I was going to host this show, and I ran upstairs to tell him, and he was there, and he was like, great, I'll be on. I was like, what? <laughs> but I didn't so, ask you yet. No, I know, but thank you. <laughs> thank he you. said, you know I'm an ambassador to Soul. I said, get out of here. Ambassador Soul. Okay. Proper yeah. Soul. S exactly. S -O -L. S -O -L. S -O -L. Exactly. Okay. So this is we want to make it so it's more like wit. That's the no, no. It's going to be a uh, it's going to be a puree. I'll show you what oh, I mean. Puree. Okay, here we go. Okay, there that should go, go up. <laughs> Safety. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so we've made the puree. Smell it. It smells oh, good. that's oh, really it strong. Good. It's really yeah. strong. But it's a good Fresh. strong though. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So you're gonna put that in there. Mm, Oops. That ginger okay. is everything. Uh oh. Mm, Malfunction. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Over there. Ooh. All, right. All right. Okay, now we're going to add soy sauce. Okay. Soy sauce. This is really good Korean brewed soy sauce. Good. Mm. This is the rest of the water. It's about a cup, a little mm. over a cup. Sesame oil, mm. about a third of a cup. And this is dark brown sugar. Oh, In Korea, up, for huh? marinades, they use everything from soda to sugar to honey, mm. whatever you want. Now, so, I, I have a question about kimchi. Yes. Why do you think it's experienced such popularity <laughs> now? Because it's on a lot of menus. It's mm -hmm. been touted as this healthy food. It really is quite right. healthy. It gives Why? you a lot of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. It's a good probiotic for your intestines. That's what I've right heard. With digestion. And all kimchi is not spicy. They have about 200 to 300 different kinds. Mm. Um, now, I the smell to can like... be off-putting to some oh, people, Oh, for sure. <laughs> but, that's, but that's only because that's fermented. Fermented. Oh, you can, you can okay. eat kimchi fresh as well. Okay. But I love fermented kimchi. It's like when cheese, hmm. cheese ages yeah. and it's really stinky and yeah. off-putting, but uh -huh. when you eat it, it's just like amazing. So it's like a superfood? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Now, you mentioned cheese. Is it true that Koreans say kimchi instead of cheese when they're taking pictures? This is true. No wow. way. Yeah. With That's the cool. rabbit ears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the rabbit ears. <laughs> okay, so this is our, my already made um, marinades. It's mm -hmm. cold like that, so really chunky. Okay. Yeah. Now you just pour it in to fill up over all the little chicken. Yeah, yeah you just want to. You just oh, want to get in there. Huh? In there. And yeah. here are my plastic gloves. These are another Korean staple. Mm -hmm. Always use a plastic glove. Plas plastic opposed to those little rubber ones, the latex gloves. Yeah, because these are disposable. My daughter okay. uses them for you know changing her hamster cage too. So. <laughs> okay. it's got multi, that works. Multi purposes. <laughs> yeah, multi purpose gloves. There we okay, go. so that's gonna get really hot. Okay. okay. Um, you know everybody knows how to saute in a pan. They sure do. Even oh, I know oh, how to oh, do yeah. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could actually do that, Shannon. Can you believe it? Uh, oh, you know, Marja, my so, idea of cooking is. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey, I don't blame you. I mean, <laughs> eat out a lot. And I've eaten out a lot at Jean Georges restaurant. Oh, yeah. Yes, I love Jean Georges. Oh, in the Trump Tower. Oh, yeah. Where Jean Georges happens to be your husband. Oh, yeah. That's true. So oh. he's a world renowned chef. You're a world renowned chef. I'm how does, oh, it, please. Wo well, how does uh, it work? I call Who myself. Cooks dinner. Yeah. Uh, I cook dinner at home, actually. Really? really? Yeah. Does, yeah. He, does he ever criticize? I'm like, oh, you should do this. He knows better than you. Well, right. Smart man. <laughs> smart man. That's a picture of the family. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Chloe. <laughs> yeah. Really? She's uh -huh. in a traditional. We're in traditional Korean clothes. Oh. It's called a hanbok. A hanbok. Han oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And you all married at a spice market? Is that true? No. We married at the Soho house on the rooftop, and then we had our ceremony at Spice Market. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Why was that venue special to you? Because he owns it. Right. Well, it just opened. Well, it was true. fierce. I mean, was it because it was just a big opening, and he wanted to throw a big bash there? No, it's just yeah. we, we had so many people to invite, and, you know, it was just um, convenient. Yeah, okay. you know. that works too. Yeah, that works to have a couple yeah. restaurants in the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what did he think of kimchi when you first introduced him to it? Well, <laughs> that was a bit of something well. because, uh, you know, he opened the fridge the first time. I think I'd really officially moved in and gone grocery uh -huh. shopping. And he was like, what in the heck died in here? <laughs> oh, no. But anyway, he said, smell we're talking about, huh? Yeah. <laughs> if there's no smell coming out of the fridge, he knows we're out of kimchi. Uh, or out okay. of kimchi. <laughs> like, how often do you have kimchi, Marja? Almost every day. Really? really? Yeah, I eat Korean food. My, our daughter really, she's a picky eater, but she eats Korean food mm. a lot. Yeah. So, All right. So, saute, anyway, that's cooking. Smells this is, divine. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is small pieces of white and dark meat together. Mm. Um, and then you cook it until it's cooked through. And this is the done, Ooh. the end product here. I'll this make one for like you. Finished. So this is a lettuce wrap. This is oh. what we serve to the students at American. Let me give you a bigger piece than that. That's yeah, nice. so you take the little bit of chicken. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wrap little, it. Now what is the sauce? This is my special sauce, and I, if I gave you the recipe, so you I'd have, have to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go, that's for you. I need to know. <laughs> All right, well, while ready? we're tasting this, tell us what else is next for you. You're doing so much. You have a book out also, Kimchi Chronicles. I've got Chronicles. a cookbook, uh, Kimchi Chronicles, mm -hmm. Korean Cooking for an American Kitchen. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank um, you. You know, I'm doing webisodes of my own, like A to Z, mm -hmm. how to things that we might have skipped in the show. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is great. That's my Kimchi Goddess mm. sauce. Yeah. Girl. Thank you. No, I don't it think out. it smells that bad. <laughs> I actually like the smell. <laughs> you like the smell of... Yeah. So this is not kimchi. This is not kimchi. You would know if it was oh, kimchi. Yeah. Kimchi oh, is pickled. Like it. it's, it's pickled pickle. cabbage yeah, it's or okay. radish. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Well, this right. is delicious. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's just lettuce. I'm very glad. Okay. <laughs> Marja, so, thank you so much. This thank is fantastic. You. Come again soon, please. Oh, I will. And uh, tell John George, I said thank you very much. I love sure. that Mercer Kitchen steam. Ooh, me too. <laughs> love that Mercer Kitchen. Me too. <laughs> All right, well, take care. Have a All wonderful right. day. Thank you. thank you. Thank you for having me. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.